five minutes before a tornado forms, no scientist in the world could tell you that's going to be a big tornado or that's going to be a weak tornado. We know the broad strokes about how and why tornadoes form. Big supercell thunderstorms roam through the plains in the Midwest every springtime, making hail and wind and, in some cases, tornadoes. We understand how supercell thunderstorms form. We're actually really good at predicting that. We know the source of rotation for what's called a mesocyclone, which is the parent of a tornado. And what we're not good at predicting is which ones will make tornadoes and which ones won't. So we're trying to understand that final stage, the stage where you get from a supercell thunderstorm with this rotating mesocyclone to an actual tornado, and most importantly, what is probably a very subtle difference, but a very important difference between the process that makes weak tornadoes and the one that makes strong tornadoes. Right now, we have a giant project called Vortex 2, which is trying to peel back that particular mystery. Why does this mesocyclone make a tornado and these five mesocyclones didn't? And why does this one make a strong tornado and the other ones made weak tornadoes? The second big mystery is exactly how tornadoes do damage. Houses, people, cars, things that get hurt by tornadoes are all in the lowest 10 meters, the lowest 35 feet of the atmosphere. And that's a place that's very hard to measure. Weather stations get destroyed or they get missed. Radars can't really scan that low. The only way I can understand that is by getting measurements inside, detailed measurements of things we can't see just with our eyes. So we're trying to fill that gap. There's really a blind zone uh, between about 10 meters above the ground and right at the ground that we're trying to fill by mixing radars from very close, in situ instruments, or even working with people who have an armored car. And the idea is to try to really get a multi-parameter picture so that we can make these predictions.